Hello, hello friends, Kim here. Welcome to back to my channel, Blue Blurred Legacy. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to share with you, well, I wanted to share with you this painting. It's a mixed media painting that I did probably five years ago. And I took a course uh, with Miriam Shulman. Miriam Shulman, she's from New York. And it was one of the f most fun uh, mixed media courses I have ever taken. Um, it This is on a birch panel. And I'm going to put um, encaustic medium on it. I am doing a series of sort of like spring flowers. And this one is close to, I think about close to being finished. But there's just a few details I'm going to put on it. Um... And so I thought it was the appropriate time of year for me to share that, being that all my daffodils are blooming. Um, so a lot of layers on the background of this. Lots and lots of layers we did. Lots of uh, collage work initially. Drips, watercolor, paper, acrylic paint, marker, pen, ink. It was so fun. It was just really a lot of fun and so um you may you may like her course too again that's Miriam Shulman and so those are my daffodils but I also had started one and I'm just in the pencil state on this one this one is going to be um you can see that this one is going to be I cannot think of it. Pe peonies. I wanted to say glads. No, not gladiolus. It's going to be peonies. And I've just pencil sketched it in there. And um, of course the background takes a lot of time. I used one of my favorite stamps. That's a stamp. And then lots of paper. And then in pencil, I've sort of got my basic outline of how uh, the peonies will be position with a few buds in there. It's hard to see with this background because I used a lot of muted um, tones, tans, and that if you, because these are going to be pinks. So I wanted them to stand out. But that is not the reason I'm sharing this video. I want to share these two with you, but I really want to share this book. This book was a gift to me at Christmas. And I don't know if you've seen it, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's by, I don't know if I'll pronounce the name correct, but it's Karn Griffiths. And uh, maybe you've seen this, but I thought we could look through it today. And maybe you'll be inspired. Um, learn to paint with tea, coffee, embroidery, flame, and more. Now, I have seen... Um, in a course, someone used flame. That was my first time. But look at the beauty in this book. This is all sort of, the way that he goes about this is really amazing because there's just a lot of splatters that are put down with the paints and teas, coffees, you know, inks and things. And then he draws in the drawing, which... I really just love his process, and I wanted to share that with you. So, the hummingbird, isn't that beautiful? Just all the expressive, I love all the expressive lines and, you know, the detail of the face, but then it's got all this going on. I like things that are sort of complicated, <laughs> and, uh, you know, the splatters in that, I think it's beautiful. So there's the artist and the author of the book, a self-portrait. But then it goes through the process, and I'm not going to take you completely through every page, but, you know, obviously preparing your materials is one of the things. And then here, just in this, drawing what's there and what is not, looking for a flow, the drips, Initially, how he starts this is with a couple of favorite colors, some browns and some blues. Of course, I'm always drawn to blues. 
and I think brown is a beautiful color with blue. And he'll just splatter or let it drip, and then he'll work with that, which I find to be really super interesting. I mean, look at this painting. Just all through the book. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Now, this is like what would be a floral. And I want you to see this close. Th throwing paint. New ways to launch paint at your work. I just kind of wanted to inspire you today and just give you something different and hopefully you'll be inspired. Now he, this is painting with coffee. He's not just splattering or coffee staining or tea staining. I mean, he's painting with the coffee, layers and layers, building up layers. He did his sketch and then he fills in with the coffee, which super interesting. So here is showing how he absolutely gets the tea in different stages and different types of teas that he's using in his artwork. And you know, a lot of people are worried about chemicals and things like that. My daughter bought this for me because I don't I, I don't mess with chemicals and things like that. I just, my body just won't tolerate it. But just the beauty of the way the materials move around the page. So beautiful. These are with inks and tea. And then he does his pen work. After it's dry, then he'll do his pen work and go in and add the details. But it's this lovely book just to look at also. I've got my tea with me for this video. I'm drinking Tulsi. Or other the name for it is Holy Basil. Super delicious. Some people, my friend told me they don't, she doesn't like the flavor. Um, really detests the flavor, but it's just kind of a natural sort of a green flavor and I don't have a lot of leaves in here. It's mostly where it went up to seed, but it's really delicious. It's got a section for creating blooms, which I really like. A lot of uh, drips, a lot of drips, use, using them, incorporating them, and just going with the flow, which is kind of how I like to let my paintings go. And then he shows you a lot of different textures if you're unfamiliar with using salt or, you know, just doing simple washes and then putting salt over it, the texture that it leaves. Just different things like that. Now, he also uses thread and stitching in the work, and I've seen lots of artists do this, but he's got a little different concept on poking the holes into the wherever he's going to do the painting, painting it, you know, pricking the paper with a needle. So there's so many great ideas here. This is an example, which gives it you know, you're only limited by your own imagination and what you want to play around with. And then it talks about smoke and creating flames and creating uh, marks with smoke. Just super interesting. Shows you making stamps. That always makes for really original art when you can carve your own stamps, put them together, and then it's your own hand in your own artwork. Very original. Of course, I love using botanicals, and he's showing here splattering and using the paint over just, you know, found leaves and things. 
I actually did some pounding, uh, some pounding of my pansies today, my purple and yellow pansies that I've had since last fall. I pounded them into a t-shirt and I'm and then I heat set it. So just some different ideas for you to add to your art. Adding a tint and color, using that for shading. It's just really beautiful. His artwork is really beautiful. I think this is my favorite. And then he's using some gold leaf, or some copper actually, but incorporating that to really give it some detail. Look at this, make it stand out. Flicking ink. I wanted to show you this one. The details and that's just starting with a sorry about bumping that with splatters and using a straw to blow the ink out and then he takes in the pen and does the details here she is whoops Bigger one. It's beautiful. And then he has samples in the back of the book. So I hope you'll go f check this book out. It is. Isn't that lovely? Great eye candy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you go find Karn Griffith's work primarily with calligraphy inks, graphite liquids such as tea, coffee. And um, the organic painter. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a wonderful evening.